remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. The Ijo Youth Council last week suspended its national president, Comrade Peter Igbifa, for allegedly stage managing his abduction during a protest organized by the youth body over the delayed constitution of a governing board for the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Comrade Igbifa's suspension came after an emergency meeting of the eastern zone of the IYC in Port Harcourt, where a vote of no confidence was passed in his leadership. The Ijo Youth Council, led by Comrade Peter Igbifa, had on April 26 threatened to carry out massive protests across the Niger Delta should President Muhammadu Buhari fail to constitute a board for the NDDC within four weeks. At the expiration of the ultimatum, Ijo Youth carried out the protest as threatened, while their leader, the IYC president, was nowhere to be found. At an Abuja meeting between Minister of Niger Delta and principal officers of the IYC, where concerns of the youths were addressed, Comrade Igbifa was conspicuously absent. During the course of the meeting, news filtered in that the IYC president had been kidnapped in Port Harcourt. To the best of my knowledge, the president was coming for a meeting. He initiated these meetings. He was coming to join the national leadership for this meeting before he was abducted. After taking a critical appraisal of the entire scenario, Eastern Zone of the IYC, which produced Comrade Peter Igbifa as national president, convened an emergency meeting in Port Harcourt. Comrade Igbifa was accused of calling for a protest in which he did not intend to participate and stage managing his abduction. From the inception of IYC, it has never happened for the national president to be kidnapped. It's your youth council work in line with the security agents, agencies. We release kidnappers, we go on the street, we go on the forest, we fight criminalities, criminals, we fight courtism, we fight sea pirates. So there is no way any mortar created by man can kidnap an injured son. Moreover, the president of the council, it has never happened before. So based on that, the job people has come on board to say, the IYC president is set aside. The job who came up with the resolution that Honorable Deacon, Deacon Peter Timothy Befa should be suspended. Upon passing a vote of no confidence in Comrade Igbifa, Eastern Zone of the IOIC appointed Israel Fubara, officer in charge of mobilization and strategic planning, to act as national president of the IOIC. A vote of no confidence was passed on Peter Timothy Befa. For now, we have an acting president, which is the person of Honorable Comrade Israel Fubara. In the meantime, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Goswil Akpabio, has commended Ijo youth for staying action on their protest while assuring them that a governing board will be constituted to pilot affairs of the NDDC as soon as ongoing forensic audits of the Commission's activities are concluded in three months. Due to logistics reasons beyond the control of the Ministry, the six months earlier slated for the exercise to complete could not be met. And as a result, the forensic auditors have requested for an additional three months to enable them to submit their final report. All things being equal, in three months from today, Mr. President will be availed the final forensic uh, audit report, whereupon he will now empanel or inaugurate the board so that we can reposition the NDDC. Efforts to reach suspended president of the IYC were unsuccessful as he failed to respond to several phone calls and text messages sent to his phone. Inside the Niger Delta, 